Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. So we have some more fun shenanigans happening with Kabam. Now on the bright side, the video that I made about Acid Wash Mysterio, that issue has been fixed, Mysterio has been removed and replaced with King Root as it was intended to be. However, last night after updating the game, a lot of people noticed issue with their hood. Now, uh, if you take a look at the hood in the game right now, let's say my maxed out 4 star, then his abilities are back to normal. Yesterday, however, he had zero abilities. He was able to do absolutely nothing. And I believe Ridge the Man uh, made a video about it and it was passed around line rooms and stuff like that. However, currently we do also have additional uh, vid video to make about another issue that has happened with Hood. Now, if you see, I'm going to filter out my four star champions only here. In this case, we can see that Hood all of a sudden has moved to the top prestige spot by a relatively decent margin out of all of my Mystic champions in the game. And obviously, as much as it impact it has as a four star, nobody really cares. And the point you do start caring, however, is when, let's say, you take a look at uh, Hood as a six star. And those people who do how hood at the six star rank two level, for example, I believe this person over here, and just to make sure it's absolutely obviously not his fault, it's just the example that it's quite easy to find. We can see that hood has higher P uh, prestige or PI. Either way, he appears as a top champion. I believe that would be the prestige above Dr. Doom, above Sunspot, above Silver Surfer, despite the fact that. These champions, obviously, are rank 3, SIG 200, and uh, Hood over here is rank 2, SIG 200. So, Hood right now is more than likely the highest prestige champion in the game. We do not know exactly what his prestige is, but needless to say, that is an additional problem that does need to be addressed, uh, well, quickly, rather quicker than anything else because this will once again obviously have impact on alliance prestiges and stuff like that so it can turn into relatively nasty situation and uh, fair point if um, let's say significant portion of people will not be affected by it to a large degree but it still messes with alliance quest and obviously is an issue that does need resolving and also on the side note uh, it just at some point, you cross a line where it's absolutely <laughs> unbearable. Uh, the amount of errors that has happened with this update and just before this update, it's just quite insanely crazy. You, I do not know exactly what went down, but all of these issues with Hood's abilities disappearing, uh, all the bugs, typos, everything else this month, it just screams absolutely scruffy. And there are people, obviously, who will always jump, jump in defense of Kabam. Like, when I uploaded the issue about Acid Wash Mysterio, I got some comments from people. It's like, why are you making video about this? Kabam is going to sort it in two days or something like that. And you should not talk about it. It's like, why? So it's a bug. And uh, we're conditioned towards bugs to a degree where it's perfectly normal. I personally don't really want to accept that. And the bugs that do affect the game do deserve to be talked about in my opinion just like the failure to resolve the persistent charge bug on nick fury and Aegon and them losing persistent charges in the middle of abyss that is not normal we should not treat it as normal and we should not just kind of like move on just that the frequency of the bugs with the new champions pretty much every new champion reworked has been bugged over the last few months. We had, we had Civil Warrior come in bugged, we had Hood come in bugged, whose rework has been cancelled, and that apparently caused him to lose all of the abilities, and now his PI is bugged. Uh, Crossbones is currently still bugged as well, and Howard the Duck could potentially be bugged. And uh, it's very rare that anything at all gets added to this game at this point without a bug, and A, even though Kabam has never been amazing to keep the game bug free nobody can deny that the amount of bugs is high rocketed over the last couple of months if you take a look at the previous side event quest then uh, every week there was a new bug with it 
from start to finish, you had to deal with bugs. And if you go to Kabam forums, there's still an information about the bug regarding the side event that's about to finish. We had people who were not able to access correct tiers. We had people who got uh, who got double sent the amounts of Uru. And then we had more and more issues there. The Odin, Odin fight was bugged, I believe, in there. After that fight, uh, we had problems with Zone 10, where <laughs> there's just one problem with another. And it's a very, very worrisome trend. And it's easy to approach it lightheartedly, but when you slow down and think about it, that the bugs are likely to be one of the main reasons why a lot of people are leaving this game. There are obviously a lot of other problems with the game. I'm not going to pretend that the game doesn't have any other issues. And there are many great things about the game. Ultimately, I personally do want this game to succeed. And that is why I'm making these videos. And that is why I'm also like offering my feedback. But at this point, it's, it's just a bit of a joke. Everything that's get, it's getting changed gets bugged. Literally everything. Last month, we got... Uh, four champion reworks, two new pieces of content, and every single one of them was bugged. Odin had to be adjusted prior to his release as well. And now we have all new set of problems before the next month events are actually starting. We had bugs with two out of the three newly buffed champions, and that probably is only because the third champion only got a minor tweak overall anyways. And Act 6 all of a sudden is getting messed up and everything. It's funny to a point where it's not anymore. <laughs> that, that's how I describe it. And I think we have reached that point. I think at this point I expect everything and anything Kabam does to be bugged. And that shouldn't be like that. That shouldn't be the norm. But it is. Every champion that's added to the game, in back of my mind, I'm already expecting it to be bugged. Every new event that's starting, in the back of their minds, people are already thinking that maybe I'll just wait two days before I start it because it's probably going to be bugged. It's not normal that everybody in this community at this point are already expecting bugs from everything that gets done on the game. And I understand that it might not be the easiest issue to fix. But surely things can get better. The game will never be bug free. But it can't be this polluted either. Either way, that is all that I want to talk about today. Stay tuned about some cool videos coming out later today. Alliance War video plus a few other interesting things. But uh, that is it for now. And I'm going to catch you guys soon. See ya. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about 